Right, I've just left the monument back there and the ancient monuments. Over there we've got the Oiler Station which is a reference point and I refer to it a lot. When I'm out and about you can often see this this wireless station from miles away when I'm over a wells, pretty. Um, you can see it for miles. Any, anywhere I've been, when I've been out and about, you you can often pick that up. Like I say, it's a really important reference point, like Brent Knoll, Crook's Peak. These are all um, bring down, you know, they've all got like um, important jobs to do that that they, they they make you realize that you're not far away from anywhere if you if you want to get home or anything and uh well i've got to walk past them in a minute now there are some places i want to explore in the future which we've got the lake over there which i've partly done it's not very good to be quite honest that lake uh, you can't get round it all the way um it's, it's limited um, but there are some walks, there are some public walkways and there's other churches that I need to do that are scattered around over areas of Somerset that I haven't done yet. So I've only done one portion of Somerset. Somerset's massive. I've got all the parts all around Taunton to do. Over Yeovil, Chard, Crookern. Uh, They've all got to be done. Froome, Shepton Mallet. I do feel that they're further away from our little area. This, where I mainly go is, um, you know, what I call home, really, here, all around here. But the Somerset is bigger, you know. And of course, I do love Exmoor and the Quantocks. Um, but, uh, and I've got to really do it within the next 20 years I'd say because obviously I'm getting older and in 20 years time I'll be 84 um, I'm not saying I wouldn't be able to get out I might have to have I really don't know really 20 years is going to go just like that it'll be gone so if you're going to do anything you've got to do it really you've got to do it now I mean, I'm not bothered about exploring the world but fortunately the internet does help. I know it would be nice to go to Peru. Um, I, I would. I wanted to go to France to see the castles, and the Norman castles and the graveyards, but I don't know if that will happen unless I go on an organised trip. Um, and I, if I was going to do that I would prefer to go with somebody I know as well, even though I could be on a bus. You know, I might make new friends, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be the one that ain't got anyone. You know, because, or you make friends, I don't know what happens. Um, I'm making my way around England, gradually. I've been around most of it. Are there still areas I would like to go back and do in depth? Um, but it comes down to, some stuff does come down to money. I mean, this has cost me £10.50p just to bring my van out for the day. Because I had to pay, put five quid in it for petrol and pay £5.50 to park all day. Right, normally I come on the bus, you see. But because I wanted to make the most of these lovely long summer nights, I decided I wanted to... Um, not be under pressure for time the only thing that's going to hurt is the by the time I do get back all the ice creams places will be shut you know there won't be anywhere you can get an ice cream I mean that's the problem um, with these places they shut at five o'clock you might get an ice cream up to